today we're gonna remove this toilet and put in a new one. It's stuck to the floor, got a rusty old hose, which I disconnected. Um, we got a new one. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull these two bolts off right here. We flushed this and made sure that there's no water left in it. Okay, so we're gonna pull these off, one on this side and one on this side. So I'm gonna use a 7 16 here. And we're just gonna see if it comes undone, which it's not. Um, we're gonna to have to get a little more exciting. Maybe we'll leave the vice grip on it and see if we can get it to move a little. The other side has the same problem, it's all rusted. And can't just be easy, otherwise we'll just cut them off. That's why they give you new ones. Okay, so I got a vice grip on there and that seems to be working. So I'm just gonna work that off and see how that goes. Okay, so we're just gonna pull the toilet bowl and see what's down there. I'm always a fan of some good custom work. So let's see what's going on here. We got all sorts of goodies. Let's clean it up and then we'll get into seeing what's going on. That looks like it should work for us. We'll probably remove that right there. We're gonna redo the bathroom, but we needed a place to store this toilet. Five eighths wrench, and we're gonna remove this old hose here because it has been here for a long time. It looks like, and as you can see, it's probably been leaking on the floor for a while too. We are gonna try and use this better than wax seal here, and see what that does. Now we have a custom toilet, that's why we gotta do something exciting. We might have to add a few more things. We checked the bottom of the uh, toilet and it's flush with the ground. So this has a little, a little bit of a uh, smush down. We'll put it in just like that. And this toilet's a little bit more fancy than the other ones. So we're gonna have to uh, drill a couple holes in the floor and do some other fun things. But um, let's see if this works for now. This is gonna fit on like this. So we're gonna slide these little guys into their hole and move them over to there and then we'll put them both in and put it on and see how the toilet, the toilet we're putting in doesn't use these screws, but there's room for them. So I just tighten them down to hold this into place. This is gonna sit right on there. I, uh, I gotta drill some holes in the floor right there. Luckily we got some wood this is a raised floor on a concrete. Can't wait to see what's underneath it, but we're not quite ready for that. So we're just gonna set it up and see if it works. We're gonna use this special tile bit. Let's see if it works. So I installed these two things with their little slider pieces and they're nice little washers so that they're tight, but they can still move. And then you screw into them from the side. First, we have to put that on, which is a pain because this isn't lined up then. And then you have to scoot it. So we're gonna see how that works. Every modern toilet fancy doesn't look like a toilet it's gonna match the new bathroom maybe this fancy uh, painting too but we're not up to that point yet right now we're just gonna see if it works for a little while until we put the new bathroom we're gonna hook this in to here that's gonna work pretty well and if you look up here you can see that that is attached nicely. Those are the little holes in the side that hopefully are gonna line up with those. 
Now we did measure this, but there is that half inch molding. To complicate things, we'd probably not put that in. So the annoying thing about this is, you see we put that on. Um, if I turn this on, then the toilet's gonna fill. So I might shut off all the water just to get it into place and then fill it, but we'll see. So I was hopeful that this was just gonna line up and work, but guess what? Not so lucky. So I'm gonna add the spacer in and see if that helps because it just went out and you know, custom. Because you gotta have a nice toilet. I added a half inch spacer um, which is compactable. So we're gonna see when I put this down if it goes down far enough. Otherwise we can modify or use that other one that I have to go into this one. We'll see how that works. Okay, so I have it on there. It's not solid solid, but let's see when we push it. water didn't come out so that must have worked which is good we just gotta shim it and caulk it for now fancy toilet we're just gonna add a little uh, caulk around the bottom to keep everything stuck nicely and no bugs underneath so that's the end of the uh, video got a working toilet. So that closes the lid on this job.